Hello. The animation of the card window isn't much different from other icons. We'll learn a new trick here. You'll notice that we have created long card in Illustrator because the card needs to scroll up, requiring a longer layer. We'll animate this by changing its position. First, I'll select this layer to mark the starting point. For the first keyframe, ideally, we should use markers on the timeline. You can insert markers by pressing the asterisk key on the keyboard, but I'll demonstrate without markers at this time. It's better practice to use markers for clarity. I'll place the time indicator there and insert a keyframe for the position. Next, I'll drag the time indicator to the ending position where the code should scroll up to. I can adjust the position value directly here or hold the shift key and use the up arrow key to move this layer up as if it's scrolling up. Great. Now I'll apply Easy Ease to this keyframe and adjust the Easy for the using graph editor. Let's preview the animation. This is looking good, but displaying the full code is a bit annoying. To address this, we'll mask it to fit within the code window. To create a mask, I'll right click in the free space, go to new and choose solid. The color of the solid doesn't matter, we'll use it as a mask. I'll drag the solid layer above the code layer since the code window is now covered, I'll temporarily reduce the opacity of the solid layer. Now with the rectangle tool selected, I'll carefully draw a rectangle to cover the code window. This rectangle will serve as our mask. I'll set the opacity value of the solid layer back to 100. Next, I'll check on the toggle switches mods button at the top of the timeline. You'll see a new column called track mat in the coding layer. I'll check on the track mat column and select the white solid layer. Now the code is properly masked within the code window. Let's preview the animation again. Ah, better. In the next video, we'll animate the plant graphic.